It's a D90 soft top, but it's not like any other D90 soft top, but of course you would expect that being that it's a Helderberg. So talking to the clients, talking to Jake and Emily, and boy, it's talk about some great conversations, definitely great conversations, and an opportunity to explore colors. So this is an Iridium Metallic, and it's not a Land Rover color. It is a custom mixed color, and I'm gonna try not to talk about the color too much because it's cloudy right now. It's not sunny, so you really can't see the true beauty, but it's almost, Iridium is a really good way to define it. And for the simple reason that it looks like a different color based on the, the lighting conditions. If it's really sunny, it's, it's almost like a silver with a real light green and in the sh shadows like this, it's just a beautiful, true, it's just, it's stunning. Let's just put it that way. So enough about harping on the color. Let's just talk about the engine. It's a 300 TDI, but it's been performance tuned. It has a VNT turbo. It has a three inch stainless steel exhaust system. It has a larger intercooler. It has a custom cylinder head on it. We've done everything to it to increase that low range and that mid range torque, the horsepower, and also the sound. It's fun to drive. And it was also really fun to see Jake, which Jake is six foot nine. And see Jake drive it for the first time and see Emily drive it for the first time. In fact, they loved it so much being a D90. Emily said, this is going to be my vehicle. Jake, you have to order yours now. And what she did so, um, you're going to be seeing a D110 for Jake very soon, and it's also a fabulous color, and I'll tell you it's in the warm tone, just kind of think gold. So that'll be coming soon, and the uh, interior is going to be exciting. So let's talk about the interior on this one. It has a two-tone interior, and uh, I think the best way to do it is just let's take a look at the interior now. So I mentioned two-tone interior, and that's exactly what it has. So the, the black is not quite black. It's like a dark charcoal. And the tan, and I'm calling this tan not really beige, because it's a real, real light beige that it almost leans to tan. And it just creates a great complement, which matches the soft top. Looking around, of course, the wood steering wheel that I like a lot. I also do like the leather wrap steering wheel, but we felt it was very fitting since this is going to be used uh, I think on the beach pretty much. But anyway, and uh, Emily loved the steering wheel. And as you know, I've talked about it before. Whenever we're building a Helderberg, we build the seat, the steering wheel, the center console, and adjust the pedals specifically for the driver. And again, Jake is six foot nine. And I've had that question a lot of times. I'm really tall, can I fit? And uh, Jake fits. We did an extension on the seat. So the seat goes back farther, it gives him more room but it also fits Emily too, which she is about five foot five. So moving on to the dash, it's all wrapped in leather and then it has the contrasting stitch through it. It is a five speed manual, but I do have a lot of people that ask, can you get an automatic transmission? And the answer is yes, we also do an automatic transmission. So just looking around, what's there to say about the interior other than it's stunning. So let's take a look at the back because we did something a little special in the rear also. So when I'm doing a D90 soft top, you have two different options for the rear tire. You have this option, which is a swing out where the tire swings out on its own individually, or you have one where the, the tire itself is attached to the rear door and it swings out with the rear door. So latch comes up like this and you'll notice all the galvanized accents that we did. So it has the the galvanized top rails all the way around, which matches the galvanized corner very nicely. So again, just a little different contrast in color that goes beautiful with the iridium green. And again, we're in, we're in the shadows, so you can't see the, the true beauty of the color, but I'll say that this color is beautiful in the shadow in the sun. It's just beautiful all the time. So opening it up, you will notice something a little different, a little unique. And talking to Jake and Emily, they said, we want a wood floor, but we want it to be as dark as possible. So the floor in the shadow looks really, really dark. And in the sun, 
it's fairly dark. But this is a black walnut floor and also black walnut on the rear door too. The wood, the darker wood, complements the interior nicely. They also ordered a um, bimini top, which a bimini top, we take this top off completely, and the bimini top covers the driver and the passenger only, and then leaves the, the back area all exposed. So nice uh, summer runner, beach cruiser, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I'm really excited about this build. So side profile, I think you can definitely see that it's lifted. I have it sitting beside a D110, so you can kind of see the size perspective. But this one has a Fox suspension with I-Box springs. It has the proper radius arms, and uh, it's around three inches of lift. So we're sitting on a bead locker with a 35 inch, what do we have here? We have the STT Cooper Pro, but gives it a very nice stance. And as you move around the front too, of course you'll notice that it has the Helderberg headlight surrounds and then has the bumper that I, I just love this bumper. I think it's because of the quality of the welding and the thickness of it. And it goes very nicely when we do the air con unit in the center here, which gives the bump out. I mentioned a 35 inch tire, but the Cooper STT Pro is a fairly heavy tire, not as heavy as the Max's Trepidors, but the tire itself probably weighs around 50 pounds and the wheel itself weighs around 40 pounds. So you have that additional unslung weight. Therefore, we feel like it really requires a better braking system. And you will notice it has the exclusive Helderberg braking system. This is not a rebrand. This is built specifically for us. And it has a special rotor that's cross-drilled. And it also has six pistons in the front. So when I say six pistons, you have six pistons on there that's pushing those brake pads in on the actual rotor. So it's giving it a lot more stopping power stops on a dime, but it also looks really good.